I'd like to welcome you back to the morning huddle. All right, let's get it going, you guys. Um, so this is going to be the entertainment show. You're here at the first episode. Um, full disclosure, this is my second take, but I wanted to make it perfect for you. So let's go straight into it. I'm going to have uh, four sections in this episode. I might expand the number of sections, but I'm going to cover music, film, art, and books. So um, these are just some, some, some great things that I was looking at. And then I have an interview um, to play for you at the end with um, a featured entertainer, Steel Poet. So let's get into it. Let's start with the music. With the Puccini music section. I'm going to sing that every single time. Yes, I'm going to. So there's a band called Weezer. And what I think about Weezer is they're like um, a good idea of what just rock is in general. And they have a new album called OK Human. Um, so checking that out. By the way, all the um, links for everything that I'm saying, they're in the description. That's right. The links are in the description. Um, also, another artist, Arlo Parks, she has a, um, a new um, project and she has a new song that I checked out called Eugene. So um, check her out. She's cool. Um, Olivia Rodrigo. Um, so she is this Disney star who uh, seems to have very well absorbed the indie music vibe. And what is indie music? For a lot of people who don't know what indie music is, indie music is, it came out of college radio um, era. It, it's a uh, it's a type of rock. Um, that's what I mean when I say indie. It really, you know, comes from independent music. Um, so it was just the, 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 um, the style of, you know, rock music where it was just more lo-fi, more just, you know, not necessarily as hard edge as garage band, but just like, you know, so arcade fire. Um, anyway, so um, she, she, she's, she's super young, but she has this song that's like heartbreaking kind of, you know, it's just real. And it's, uh, it's almost funnily real to me, you know, but it's cool to see, you know, pop uh, going that kind of way. Um, so more power to her. It's fascinating. Um, it's artistic. It's melancholy, sort of, but it's like, it's like a weird edgy melancholy. I almost feel like she's like rapping or something like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so check it out. Olivia Rodrigo. Um, it's viral. It went, it went super viral. So your kids probably, I don't know why I said your kids. Like, I think that I know that you have kids. Anyway, let's keep it going. Olivia Rodrigo's song is great. Um, it's, yeah, it's interesting. It's worth checking out. So that's it for the Bussini music section, except for um, Mr. Composition was mentioned in the San Antonio Current. They did a really cool article. Again, all the links are in the description. They did a really cool article about him and his song about the um, capital unrest. Um, so that is super worth checking out. Um, I'm glad that I did this again because we're about to go into the one film section. The one film section. Um, and last time I shot this 20 minutes ago, I forgot to mention something. Uh, I wanted to mention, um, something I'm going to start with it right now, which is Wendy Williams, um, dropped a documentary. Um, and it was very interesting because, you know, she, she's a producer of this documentary and I'm, I kind of wonder at what point, if you're producing a documentary about you, doesn't that mean that it's like a vlog? Kind of, but I guess um, uh, either way, you know, I think it, it's important to talk about entertainment and I have to say not all the entertainment, and I'm not talking about this project specifically, but I'm saying it now, so it's going to seem like I am. I don't care though. Uh, but uh, uh, um, not all the entertainment that I talk about here am I saying necessarily that I like I'm promoting the artist. I think that the state of the arts um, is more about the individual statements going on. Um, and it's good. It's good to be, well, I don't want to say it's good, but it is, um, it's part of the awareness. 
part of the awareness. Of, uh, it's part of being aware of your culture and your society, the society that you're in. Um, so let's keep it going. That's it for the Bussini music section. Uh, and I, oh, whoop, I'm sorry, I, I forgot that I just actually was already talking about Wendy Williams. I just had my own Wendy Williams moment. Oh, I didn't mean to throw shade. Anyway, um, so Wendy Williams <laughs> dropped her her blogumentary. And um, I feel bad about the shit. No, I don't. Um, she dropped her. She dropped her documentary, and it was. It was. Um, <laughs> it was. Uh, I didn't watch all of it. I just watched a little bit of it. I was trying to um, skip to the end of it just so I could see that. But then I. Um, but I, I did see a, a good, a little bit, a bit of it. Angela Yee was in it, and um, uh, a lot. I don't know if those were just Breakfast Club club clips or if she also filmed for it um but it's it's a it's very interesting I, what i was really interested in was the format i think that's an interesting format because even though you know she's using it to really control the narrative of uh, her storytelling as well as make money and um i think that there are interesting ways to 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 use media to be a mediapreneur um and so uh, that project is out now. Let's get into some other movies that I'm just interested in checking out. Daniel Kaluuya has a new movie called uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. Daniel Kaluuya from Get Out. I'm interested. Looks cool. Outside the Wire from Anthony Mackie. I've always liked Anthony Mackie. I I, I always want to like see what his like full potential is. I feel like he's kind of gotten there, but then he doesn't all the way go there. So and who has gone there all the way there? Denzel Washington also has a project, um, The Little Things, that looks amazing. I can't wait to see that. Uh, and then there's a movie, so Supernova, with Colin Firth, um, that I saw, and it looked interesting. So, um, yeah, that is it for the one film section. The one film section. Uh, now, we're going to get into uh, the American art series i tried to do like a snobby voice and i just like gave myself nasal congestion let me try that again <clears throat> the american art section and this isn't just for american art but uh american as in my project america but anyway american the american art section and uh there's just three artists i want to check out and the links are in the description so you can go check those out um but it's ashley cole go go check her out um She's doing some really cool, cool abstract stuff. I'm not going to, I'm looking at it right now, but you can't see it. Um, and then Haven Lee, another great artist, um, worth checking out, you know, start your week with some cool art. And then Lauren Pierce is doing some really cool portrait stuff with some abstract, um, with some like really cool abstract components to it. It's a, uh, I'm actually very much enjoying it. You know, I'm scrolling through her stuff. Uh, it's making me want to get more into following art um, this year and, you know, to see the types of portraits that people are doing. Um, I decided as an artist that I was going to focus more on um, abstract. But to see, you know, I, I still love, you know, her her portraits are very interesting. And there's a lot of interesting people doing portraits right now. But um, every now and then, you know, stumble on someone. Got to do the work, especially in art. You got to see what people are doing, new techniques new styles. Um, awesome. So that's it for the American art section. Now we're going to talk about books. Books. Yes. By Laddington. Yeah. So um, this is the, the books by Laddington section. And um, we're going to talk about a couple, couple books, just a couple books that I noticed. Um, not this specific book, which is by Laddington, which just happens to be in a couple locations. But um, no, Barack Obama has a new book. Barack Obama has a new book, um, A Promised Land. And I really can't wait to read it because I just love his pacing on stuff, the way he thinks about stuff, the way he talks about stuff, all that stuff. He's, a th he's you know, he's really, a, 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 you know, a, just a great uh, thinker. So it's going to be great to read that book. I'm going to keep it on my shelf. I might even put it up here on the wall. Maybe someone, with, maybe, maybe one of his aides will see this and they'll send me the book and I'll put it up here on the wall. I'll put it, put it up here. I only have like two more spots that I can even put things. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm very excited for that 
Uh, so, yes. Barack Obama, A Promised Land. It should be great. I saw his the interview he did with The Breakfast Club and Jesus and Mirrors. Jesus and Mirrors. Jesus and Miro promoting the book. Um, so it's great. Also, the other book, I also enjoyed the promotion of this book. I saw this, the second book, I saw it promoted on um, a bunch of stuff, but I, he did a really great promotion on Gary Vee's podcast. It's Matthew McConaughey's book. I'm very interested to see this book by, uh, to read this book by Matthew McConaughey. It will not go up on the wall because I don't know him like that. Though I did like um, when I, uh, his movie, his breakout movie, with Days and Confused. Um, and there was a really funny um, thing of him doing um, Dazed and Confused with um, Shia LaBeouf. It was really interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap up the boop, 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 books by Laddington section. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me in this, this morning huddle. I'm going to leave you now um, with this interview. But before I do, I want to make sure that you... Um, Check out all of the links in the description. And then, of course, um, find, if you want to find the this, go go to the Go Live with Kenyo page. You can find that by finding me at www.kenyo.org. And more importantly, make sure you come back for another episode. I'm going to leave you with this interview with uh, Steel Poet. Um, I've worked with him before. Um, and we're, we're, we're working together more, but he had this idea, um, for a film and, uh, it sounds very, very interesting and, uh, we're just getting started, but we met up, you know, local downtown area just to talk, expand on it. You have to expand on ideas if you want to take them to the next level, especially when they're starting just as ideas, kernels, thoughts, ideas, write it down, talk about it and continue to build. Catch you guys next week. Well, actually tomorrow. This is a, this is this show goes Monday through Thursday. I just had another Wendy Williams moment. Sorry. I do lots of different shows, but this show I'm bringing to you Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Monday through Thursday. This is your morning huddle. This is your morning huddle. I don't want to hear about the other morning huddle. It's not about them. It's not about them. Just be here at 7. That's all I ask. That is all I ask. Be here at 7. Enjoy this interview with Steel Poet. All I ask, though, is that you be here at 7. I have not asked you for anything. Anything. Other than that, I'm causing... I almost hit something. You know? Or I did hit something. Just because I'm asking you to be here at 7 a.m. Okay. Enjoy this interview with Steel Poet. <laughs> you guys know I'm just having fun with you. See ya. Alright, what's up, you guys? It's uh, Kenya here. Um, as you can tell, because it says it multiple times. But anyway, I'm over here with the um, dope, by the way, steel poet. What's up? And uh, I just wanted to make you know a little transparency video of steel poet. You know, uh, we've worked together before. Uh, he has his company, Levels Lifestyle, and um, Levels Lifestyle. And uh, we've done we've done different things together. Actually, you know, we did a whole event, whole event, uh, album doing, release, album Let's release, listening party. Very cool. You know, and he's a Project Ford member now. And, uh, you know, he's his business and him and uh, Angie, the, you know, the two founders, the runners of the business, um, they've been um, doing a lot in San Antonio and a lot with us, you know, in and out, in and out. So, uh, but we got some new coming. I think we have some big news coming, man. It's, it's I big think news. So. It's I think big, this some. isn't really the big news. This is like, oh, this the, oh, we getting this to, is we the get news that, that one it's day the, there's some big news. Oh, this is the, the news before the news. Yeah, this is the news before the news. Okay. This is a little, just a little... Uh, this is a little. This is a little nows. A little icebreaker. Nows. Okay. What are they call nows. This is this is some nows. We some right that. nows. Uh, we're over here uh, at the Pearl. Um, yeah, Mr. Composition back there shooting product photos. Uh, yeah, shout yeah. out. Shout out to Mr. Composition. Um, and uh, yeah, so but we're we're talking about a new movie and uh, okay. If I want, I want you to. I want to talk a little bit let's, about let's break, why. Let's break it down. Why you know, like some of it. Why and why now? Not, let's, not let's even. Do the why, let's do the why now. It's, okay, yeah. It's not even why now for me though. It's more just like. It's well, a, I say the why now because. Okay. The dust is clear. Mm -hmm. Nothing's going on. Right. So I'm gonna refresh these people's memory. Like, hey, we ain't forgot. 
you know, and I like the connection because what it what this project makes me think of, and what is the project? So we haven't even talked to you about that yet. Uh, are they, it's gonna are they be, ready? Are they ready for the part? Are they ready for the name? You ready for some? Uh, not yet, not yet. They're not ready okay. for the name yet. Well, no, let's go ahead. Give them the name. Give, give them the name. You give, you give them the name right there. Official on them. The name of the new movie. Levels lifestyle. Levels lifestyle. Project four. Project four. It's called No Freedom in Sight. You know, <laughs> No Freedom in Sight. I think, you know, we, we live a really cool life here on the planet Earth. And, uh, but inside of it, there's a lot of things going on, you know? And um, there are a lot of people who are um working towards freedom and that's what i like about this project because it highlights that sometimes we forget and when you forget and you think you've achieved it happens again the motivation decreases but there's no reason to Tra decrease motivation tragedy, tragedy occurs again so i just want one more thing on it because we don't need to give them a whole thing right now oh, that's no, not what it's no, about no, okay, okay, i just want okay, one okay. more thing on it i want a connection what, piece what, you, you want a connection how piece? do they con how, how does how I almost I almost lost my mask how do they connect to this project hey i'm available 100 no no, no 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 how do they connect emotionally oh emotionally you 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 go on, it's gonna be a problem i'm, I'm gonna wrap up some feathers but how they how how should why should the average person care why should why should why should they, why should they care inside of their homes inside of their lives? Because it's gonna touch everybody. I'm gonna get both sides of the story. I'm not beating up on the police. I'm not making it seem like we always great. I'm not doing that. That's not what I'm about. I care about everybody. I love everybody, and the ones I can't get along with, I love from afar still. No pun intended. No freedom in sight. Let's get it going, guys. Poet. Poets in action right here. Poets going places. Poets two times. Shout out to the Pearl. See you guys.